Hello, everyone. A very good morning, good afternoon, good evening as per your respective time zone. My name is Sachin Isaria, and in this video, we will be discussing a very interesting topic that how to secure your email. So basically what happened is that as a user, we are using like a, almost every user is using a Gmail. But when we are using a Gmail, we don't know the criticality of Gmail. How critical is uh, uh, is to ensure that our Gmail is secure, how critical is to ensure that our Gmail password is not shared with any other person. Otherwise, with the help of Gmail password, people can track your live locations. People can track what you are searching on your mobile. They can track what you are searching on your YouTube. They can also get to know about your other passwords as well. So Gmail is a very critical application and as a user, you need to follow a, a, a safe password guidelines. You need to make sure that your Gmail is open only in your mobile or only in your laptop and not any other laptop, any other mobile phone. So we will be discussing this very interesting topic as a part of cybersecurity awareness part one. So without any delay, let's start our video. So basically first I will be telling you that first you need to check whether your mail ID and password is being compromised or not. As a user, we are uh, using our mail ID in a lot of applications. Okay. In order to create a users, we are providing our mail addresses. So basically I will tell you how to check whether your email ID and password is compromised or not in the past, whether it was compromised or not. And if compromised, when it was compromised. Okay. So we'll be giving you a live demo for this. So what you need to do is you just need to go to your Gmail. Okay. Open your Gmail, either in your laptop, either in your mobile phone and click on the icon. When you will click on the icon, you will see manage your Google account in the mobile phone. You will see the manage account option like this. For example, once you click here in the icon, then you will see a uh, many year option like this, then click on this, manage your account, manage your Google account. Okay. Once you click on manage your account, then you will see a lot of options here. Okay. You need to go to the security option in mobile. You can uh, drag this options like this and then go to the security option. Okay. Once you go to the security option at the below, you will see this. See if your email address is on a dark web. Okay, this is an option provided by the Google where you can check whether your email address is on a dark web or not. And then you need to run a scan on this particular uh, 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 Google One account. Okay, so one, once you run a scan, it will tell you whether your Gmail and password have been compromised or not. So here, as you can see, no result found. What does it mean? It means that the ID which I am using here that email ID has not been compromised anywhere on the other applications as per the dark web report. I will show you the similar search field with one, my another email ID that I'm using frequently on the other application. Then we'll see like, you know, what output is coming. So again, I'm going to the manage Google account option and then I am going to the, uh, uh, see if your email address is on a dark web, then I'm running a scan on this email as well. So whatever email you are using, just run this scan in all the emails and let's see the output, what output is coming. So now it is scanning and let's see what output is coming. Now it is showing me six data breaches. What does it mean that my email ID, my uh, uh, account, email account, okay, which was associated with some other application have been compromised at a sixth place. Once you click on a view all result, then it will tell you that where it was leaked. For example, it is telling me that my account, uh, account details was le leaked on the true caller database, some sensitive source, some Nitro applications, Canva, Exico. And even it is also telling you what kind of data have been leaked, like your email name, email password. Okay. So basically, if you find any applications, which is a critical applications, for example, maybe your Paytm, maybe your phone, pay, any, any other financial application, where the data have been leaked. In that case, you need to change the password of that particular applications immediately. And guys, even if you click on the password, it will show you your password. And as a user, we have a very bad habit, I would say, to keep the single password for all the application. For example, if my Exico password is 
same as my net banking password then what will happen the hacker the unauthorized person who have my exigo password maybe he will try the same password to log in into the another applications guys correct so as a user it is very important for us to keep a safe and a secure password okay you and you need to run this particular scan you need to see in which applications your data have been leaked and accordingly you need to change the password of that application and you also need to change the password if you are using the same password for other application then change that password also okay so that is very critical with the help of google one you can verify whether your mail id and your passwords have been compromised or not okay and as a user i will tell you guys don't keep a same password for all the application don't do this mistake okay password is like your first level of security it is like a first level of defense so if you will keep your password weak there are high chances that your account have been compromised account will compromise okay so keep your password safe keep your password uh, just follow the password guideline that your password should include the uh, minimum character sticks uh, uh, like minimum 10 to 11 character sticks and some other thing let me show you one image i guess that image will give you a better perspective how to keep your password safe okay so basically i will show you one image here so as you can see this particular image as a user if you are keeping a password 4 to 10 digit 4 to 10 characters that password can be compromised easily if you are keeping numbers only as a user we have a habit to keep the password like a mobile number name at the rate 1 2 3 name at the rate year uh, uh, of birth name at the rate dob don't keep don't use any information which is available in the public domain don't prepare your password uh, via, uh, via like, you know, information which is there in the public domain. Otherwise, your account can be compromised easily with the help of a brute force attack. So as a user, you need to keep a password which includes the number, upper character, lower character, symbols, and some special character and keep the length at least 11 to 12. So that will make a complex password. Okay, so this is the first thing that you need to do. Keep your password safe. Keep your password complex. Okay and run a scan and check uh, what kind of applications was there where your account data have been leaked okay this is first thing guys second thing as a user you need to enable a two-factor authentications on all the critical applications now what is a two-factor authentications basically two-factor authentication is a mechanism through which you can add a additional layer of security into your account for example you might have noticed that uh, in some applications when you are providing a password after the password they are asking you for the otp so otp is a second vector auth authentication there are three vectors of authentication something that you know okay something that you are and something that you have if you are using a more than a one vector it is considered as a two vector so password plus otp are two vector because password is something that you know and otp is something that you have so it is a good practice that you need to enable a two-factor authentications on your account. Okay. So this you can do on your Gmail as well, guys. Okay. Just uh, uh, click on your Gmail. Okay. Then manage your account and manage your account. After that, you can check whether the two-factor authentication is enabled on your account or not. Here you can uh, see, okay, whether the two-step verification is on or off. It is, if it is off, please keep it on. Okay. So this is the first thing that we have discussed that how to check whether our mail ID and password is being compromised or not. Now let's discuss the second point. Whether someone is tracking your locations, browser history and the YouTube history. Okay. So for that, what you need to do is you need to go to the same option in the manager account and where you can verify, there you can verify whether someone is tracking your locations or not. Guys, generally what happens is as a user, we are using this Gmail very lightly. What happened? One Gmail account is open in your laptop. One in the company's laptop, maybe. One maybe in your phone, in, in the friend's phone as well. Sometimes we go to the cyber cafe where we log on our, uh, uh, log in our Gmail, but we don't log out because we as a users are thinking that what he will do from the Gmail account. This is a, only a Gmail. He can only send and receive an email and that too, like I am not doing any personal communications from the Gmail. So as a user, we are taking very lightly this Gmail, okay? We think that nothing can be done from the Gmail, but it is very critical, guys. Now I will show you how 
with the help of Gmail password, someone can track your location. Okay. So again, go to the manage your account. In the manage your account, you need to go to this options, data and privacy. Okay. When you will go to the data and privacy options, there you have three settings, web and applications activity, YouTube history and the timeline. Now, suppose this is an option timeline and location. Suppose if this is on, suppose in this, in, in your email, if it is on, you can check all of your activity Okay, because with the help of Google map, it is capturing all of your uh, live locations. And if someone else have logged in your Gmail, they can check your live locations. They can check where are you staying. So it is very important that you keep it off. Okay, if you don't require, if you require, maybe you can keep on. But otherwise, from the safety purpose, for the uh, from the perspective of privacy, I would suggest you to keep it off. Web and app history also you can see, YouTube history also you can see. So if it is on, anyone can check all this particular item. For example, if I want to see my YouTube history, okay. So basically it is showing me that, you know, what kind of videos I have search on the YouTube. So uh, from this options, you uh, anyone can verify this aspect. So as a user, if you want to keep it on, then only keep it on. If you want to maintain your privacy, just keep it off. Okay, just keep it off. So this is about how to check uh, uh, the person's locations, browser and YouTube history with the help of Gmail account only. Okay, now I will tell you one more option. Guys, there is a website which is called as a have I been pond. You, you just type this website in your uh, uh, Gmail, sorry, in your browser and then provide your email ID. Once you provide your email ID and if you search us, uh, uh, if you run a scan here also this particular website will also tell you the same thing whether your gmail account have been compromised or not if it is if, if it is compromised at what website it was compromised okay so again if you see any critical applications name here you can change the password of that application so it is also telling you what data have been compromised for example on the Canva applications, the email address, locations, name, password, and username was compromised from uh, this particular email ID. So you can use this uh, particular uh, uh, this particular URL, have I been found, to check whether your account have been compromised or okay. So two topic we had discussed. Then third, this is very important. If you want to see that any other person is using your email ID or not, okay. If you want to see that apart from you whether someone else have logged in into your account or not. This is also very important to verify. Okay. Because if you, if you will no, not check this particular option, there might be a chances some other persons might be have, might have done a login from your ID and he is tracking your locations, your browser history, your web history. Correct. So that option also you need to check and you need to make sure that your account have been logged in only in your email or on, only in your phone or only in your laptop. So what you need to do is again, just go to the manage your account in manage your account. You will find an options of the uh, security in the security. You can see your devices. Now, if there will be a multiple devices, you can check those multiple devices. For example, in my case, it is showing that my Gmail session is running one on the windows computer one in, in my phone. If you see any other device, which is not owned by you, Okay, then what you need to do is you need to sign out that particular uh, uh, account. Okay, you need to sign out the same. Okay, so this is very critical guys. Please make sure that your account is logged in only in your associated devices. If you see any other devices which is not owned by you, then you need to sign out the same. Okay, so this is our topic number three. Check if your other uh, check if any other person is using your email ID or not. Now, last is check if critical passwords are saved in your email or not. Now, this is also very important. Sometimes what happens is whenever we are logging into other application, sometimes the it asks for uh, it, one pop up uh, comes and it asks for the save password, and sometimes we do save our passwords as well. Now, all those passwords are getting saved here in your Gmail only. So what you need to do is again, go to the manage your account security option, then go down and check the save your password. Okay. Saved your password. It will tell you that how many passwords are saved here. 
if like in your case definitely it will show you around 10 password 20 password in some user it is 30 to 40 password so what you need to do is whether any critical applications passwords are also saved for example suppose if your net banking password is saved here then it's a risk it's a very big risk uh, what will happen suppose if your gmail id password is compromised that person can see you other applications password as well so as a user what you need to do is you need to make sure that critical applications financial applications are financial applications passwords are not saved here if it is saved then just remove the same okay if it is saved here then remove the same otherwise it is like a vulnerable thing i would say okay so that is all guys from this video i just wanted to create a awareness that how critical your gmail is make sure that you keep your gmail secure make sure that your gmail password is complex make sure that two factor authentication is enabled okay the reason why i have uh, you know uh, uh, discussed this particular topic is because gmail doesn't ask us for frequently changing the password you will not even remember when you have lastly changed your gmail password okay it doesn't ask for change of the password like uh like in the uh banking applications generally it prompt that after 90 days you need to change your password but this is uh this is not the case in case of gmail so as a user we should be very aware about our gmail we should know what kind of activities can be traced with the help of gmail password and just keep your password safe just comply with the password guidelines that is all from my side guys this is just the first pa part of a cyber security awareness likewise i am planning to release uh, more such uh, interesting topic so thank you so much for watching the video if you learn something from the video please like the video and share with your other friends as well and uh, see you in the next video till then bye bye take care and uh, that's all thank you so much guys